Okay, so when I start my hair, I um found that conditioning my hair first works best. So that's what we're gonna do. So let's see. The first question says, "How tall are you? How tall am I?" Baby, I'm 5'3". That's how tall I am. So, I'm not too sure how it, oh, I just click it and it went to the next one. So yeah, I'm 5'3". A little short stack, you know. <clears throat> What's the next question say? Introvert or extrovert? Let me look up the definition because I be knowing what I mean, but then I be forgetting. So it says for introvert, a person whose personality is characterized by introversion. Typically reverse or quiet person who tends to be introspective and enjoy spending time alone. Mm. Let's see what it say, extrovert. Okay, I'm not gonna shop now. Um, a person who enjoys and seeks out social interaction. I would say, honestly, I'm a little bit of both. But if I had to choose one, I would say I'm more of an introvert because I'm more of a, like a homebody type. I'm quiet. I stay to myself. And like I like doing stuff like going to museums and like do quiet stuff. Not too like much of going into public around big crowds of people all the time not that i have an issue with that it's just i stay to myself a lot so i would say i'm both but i don't just go like seeking out social interactions like i'm not about to be walking up to random people and just be talking to them now if you have something i'm interested in or like a shirt or something yeah i'll walk up to you and be like oh excuse me where did you get this and this and this and, you know i'll talk to people or like if i'm on like a bus or using public transportation and like little stuff like that but i'm just not about to be like oh my gosh what's up girl like oh no no <laughs> i've never been that way like i'm very quiet and kept to myself I'm more of an observant person. So, that's just like for the handful of times I've been to like a house party or something like that. Like, you know, I'm not really, I wouldn't say I'm shy. I'm just reserved. Like, it would take me a minute to really get out there and start dancing or whatever the case may be. Not that I don't know how to dance, baby. I know how to shake a tail feather. Don't get it twisted. It's just, I got to. Fill the room out first, you know? I don't never walk into a situation blind, like just being foolish. I'm going to peep the scene for a minute and see some faces, you know? T test the temperature in the room. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so. Let's see. What's the next question? Who's your last Instagram search? <laughs> Don't give me a line. Let me go see. Who's my last Instagram search? Oh, actually, my last Instagram search is my page for my nonprofit. Y'all see that? Butterfly Effect Ministries. 
Um, and let me show y'all so y'all can see I ain't capping. That's my last search. And yes, I'll be on Sam's Club page too. Mind your business, mind your business. But yeah, that's my last Instagram search right there. Because I wake up in the morning before my kids get up and stuff. And um, do like anything that's business related. I need some more conditioner. So I'm probably about to mix this heat mask with this conditioner but yeah that's my last instagram search i do business stuff in the morning before the kids up get it out of the way because you know they say the early bird gets the worm okay let's see <laughs> this is not a question i asked y'all for questions somebody said i think you're a sexy woman well whoever you are thank you <laughs> that's so funny Okay, um, somebody said, what's your favorite movie? Oh, <clears throat> I would say my favorite movie has come to be War Room because there are so many different things that I find myself relating to heavily in that movie and you know as far as like my walk with God and stuff I just started my walk back in I want to say the end of 2020 when everything happened with my older sister and whatever that's when I really started my walk with God you know so war room i'm gonna post a picture right here with the cover it looks like and stuff and also i believe you can watch it on amazon prime so that's gonna be linked down below too so what's my next question who do you text the most <laughs> who do i text the most um I really don't think I got nobody I text the most because I really don't I mean I'll talk to people don't get me wrong but my phone it just do what it do like if I'm not talking to my aunties like or my siblings or my childhood friend I don't really text nobody the most like you know everybody I know has their own things going on so I may drop like a morning prayer or something to everybody or send a video out like early morning or something like that but I wouldn't say I text nobody the most <clears throat> do you have a middle name I sure do my middle name is Ariana that's my middle name. And I find it so weird that some people don't have a middle name, but whatever. Okay. The next one says, your worst habit. My worst habit is, or should I say was, um, always seeing the potential in somebody and giving them grace upon their potential and giving them the benefit of the doubt instead of taking what they've already shown me and you know basically like running with that you know giving people the benefit of the doubt just because of the potential they have to be you know because at the end of the day it don't matter if I see great potential in somebody you know if they don't see it in themselves and still want to continue to do everything they want to do how they want to do it or whatever the case may be then that person ain't gonna change so you know i learned to just just do me just do me what they show you is what they show you. And until they show you otherwise, then don't even worry about it. 
Don't even worry about it, baby. That's my worst habit that I've learned to not make a habit anymore. But as far as having a, a habit that's bad that I do now, I really wouldn't say that I've had one, to be honest. But that's something, you know, struggling with that potential one of people, that's something I have to remind myself often. So I guess you could say that's a current worst habit or whatever the case may be because it's very easy to slip back into you know that fairy tale la la land or somebody having so much potential so much talent that you see so many things they could be doing you know to make themselves a better life but this is where I learned to put me first and stop playing with my own potential baby because whoo let me tell y'all, once I started doing that, baby, mm, my, 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 what a big change in my life, I can say at the least, at the least, not even the most, at the least, because I ain't even reached the most yet, so, let me give me a towel. So I can be wiping my hands. Don't want to get my phone all dirty. But let's see. The next question is. Oh, they asked the same question twice. Do I have a middle name? How's your day going? My day so far is going. I'm gonna say okay. It's going okay going through the basics and stuff trying to get my hair done or whatever it's going okay let's see you're the weirdest thing you've ever eaten y'all know that I just be picking stuff up and trying it so if I ate it it ain't weird to me at least but the weirdest thing I ever ate I'm not even going to use the term weird, but I would more so say peculiar or strange. Um, probably, I don't know, like maybe crickets. Like, you know how they be having them little packs of like crickets that be having like seasoning on them and stuff like that maybe crickets is the most odd thing maybe because I've eaten everything from crickets to alligators so I don't know it really depends on your definition of what's weird or odd or peculiar strange whatever so I guess that The worst advice you've ever given. The worst advice I've ever given was if they not like talking to you, don't talk to them. Simple as that. Because that could be, that's the worst advice I've ever given because, you know, as I've matured like spiritually and emotionally and stuff like that you know I came to realize that you know I'm not the only one that be going through stuff even though I know that it's like you know you can't take everything personal you know because sometimes people be going through worse things that you're going through but they just may always keep a smile on their face and stuff like that so it don't be seeming like it and sometimes you know people just naturally get sidetracked and can be forgetful with certain things so it's not always that oh that person ain't worried about me they ain't called me and da -da -da -da. baby it's a two-way street okay it's a two-way street just like the same thing between you and god it's a two-way street because god's not gonna always be like oh well 
she ain't prayed or she ain't talked to me she ain't asked me for nothing so she must be good so i'm just gonna stop doing what i'm doing for her i'm just gonna stop blessing her no god don't do that god taps in and checks in with us still in his own particular ways so don't do that mm -mm. check in on that person because that person may be going through a great depression, a great struggle. You don't never know. And I'm saying this from experience for myself. When I was going through my depression and all that with all my health issues and stuff. And especially while I was pregnant. It was only a handful of people that would call in and check on me or text me. Even if I never replied back or returned their phone call. They were consistent with checking in on me even when i said i didn't need anything they would randomly send me money or whatever the case may be just just doing it because you when you connect it and mature on such a deep level you just can feel things in your spirit and god gonna tell you to do for people sometime and sometime you don't need to know why all it ends and out just be obedient and do what god is telling you to do sometime and that's it. That's all I'm going to say about that. If he tell you to paint that wall red, when you was thinking about painting that orange, paint that wall red. Because you never know why he's telling you to paint that wall red. That may be someone else's answered prayers. Like, God, if you real, I'm going to walk by a red wall today. Paint the wall red. Just be obedient. You ain't always got to know everything that he doing. If he tell you to do something, just do it. Test the spirit. Test the word to make sure it's him. But just do it. Now the next question is. This not even a question. It said you a homie. Okay. Whoever that is. <laughs> Somebody said single? Question mark. Yes. Single? And not mingling, baby. Mm -mm. Not gonna do it. I said I'm not dating anybody because I've recently learned the difference between dating and courtship. And I want to be courted. I I really came to the realization that all these years I've dated, been in long-term relationships. You know, I think my longest relationship was like five years. And you know, that was with my son's dad. So, I said, I don't need to date. Because I feel like when you're dating, you're still trying to figure out what you like, what you don't like. And I know what I like and what I don't like. So, why am I going to waste my time to date you? And I feel like when you're dating, like, I don't need to date multiple people. Like, if I'm going to focus on one person, that one person needs to focus on me too. Which is why I said, I want to be courted. I don't I don't want to date and I'm gonna put it somewhere on the screen right here the like definitions and I'm gonna link it down below the video I watch about courtship and stuff like that for you guys that are wondering like what what's the difference it's a difference yes major difference because I said I, w I don't want just anybody multiple people investing their time in me their money in me their resources in me and different stuff like that because even though in the beginning they may say those things don't come with attachments and expectations over time they develop into that you know so I want one man to focus on me and me to focus on that one man because when you're investing all that into someone it means something you know I want to see that that person is really for me investing in my business investing in my purpose understanding my anointing like all of that like I'm not about to be competing with nobody else if you want me you're gonna show me you're gonna meet my requirements in order to even fix your mouth to ask me on a date to ask me if you can court me you're gonna meet my requirements that's how I'm gonna know that you really want me 
by doing those things. And some of y'all probably like, oh, well, what about you? What about you? What you going to do? Baby, I'm going to be doing the same because I'm not going to date to Terry. I'm going to be courted to marry. Okay? That's it. So I'm going to be working on myself as a woman and preparing myself to do wifely things just as he's preparing himself to be a husband. And that's that's that and I'm gonna I'm gonna do a video I'm gonna do a video on dating versus courting and really like give y'all a little more in-depth um, inside on what's my requirements and all that and some of y'all gonna think I'm crazy but baby God said what he said so I'm setting the setting the bar yeah and I can wait patiently for my husband real bad mm -hmm. But anyway, <laughs> let's let's move on to the next question. Okay, so the next question is this is not a question. It says not gonna judge, but why? Why what? Like what you mean why? Like mm-hmm. Okay, what are your plans this weekend? My plans this weekend is to fill in my planner some more. Um, I know I got doctor's appointments next month. So I'm just pretty, go pretty much going to map out what my next month going to be like, to be honest. And... Um, that's pretty much it. My weekends be chill for the most part. I don't really be doing nothing like that. The next question is the weirdest thing you ever eat. And they asked that twice, whoever that was. Um, This question is kind of weird. I really don't understand it. But all they said was how to sport. Now, um, some of y'all may not consider dance or dancing as a sport, but I do because um, I'm a dancer myself, have been in that field of performing arts for years, as long as I can remember. So, I'm going to say the hottest sport is dancing. Because there's nothing I love more than a man who can dance. And not just a little two-step. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice cracking. Not just a little two-step, but can really, like, dance. And, like, be very versatile with the different forms of dance he can do across all fields. So, I'm going to say dance. Mm -hmm. That's the hottest sport. Yeah. Real bad. <laughs> Let's see. The next one says... Ooh! They tried it with this one. It says, you got a sneaky link? Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Because one thing I always said, baby, I ain't gonna be nobody's secret. <laughs> secret for what? Secret for where? No. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. My house is closed, baby. My house is closed. I got me and my kids and God. Mm -mm. I, I don't want those problems. Uh-uh. So, if you looking for a sneaky link, baby, it's not here. Turn around. Turn around. Sure. Turn around. Because you're not going to find that here. You're not. And that's that. Like, no. So, I just don't. Like, why is that such. Like, I only got three questions left. So, I'm going to just talk a little bit more. But, on this sneaky link topic. Like, why is that even, like, a thing now? Like, sneaky link? I ain't ever, ever been nobody's sneaky link. Like, I feel like that's secrecy. 
and I'm a private person. I don't do all that keeping secrets and stuff. Like, I'm just private. But Sneaky Link, like, who, who, I, I feel like people who like stuff like Sneaky Links and stuff like that, they get like thrills off of being somebody's secret. But, no. Like, even like before, like, when I was in a relationship, like, this, this past one, I was like, <laughs> baby, first and foremost, I'm not about to be nobody's secret. Like, if we together, we together. Because I like to be outside, I like to be doing stuff, and I don't just, I just don't believe in being, like, nobody's secret. Because I feel like if somebody wants you to be a secret, that means they're not proud for you to be their partner or proud, proud like to date you and they're just not confident in your relationship and they just all around fronting. That's why I let it be known in my last relationship. Like I'm not about to be nobody's secret. So whatever you gotta do, um, no, handle your business. Cause I'm not about to be no secret straight up like I'm all for privacy y'all know I never posted about my relationship on social media and stuff like that because I feel it's very important for a bond in a relationship to be built behind closed doors to the point where it's so strong that nobody can break y'all apart you feel me so if I ever pop out with you on social media that means I feel like I got to that point where you know we out we outside like it is what it is but not to say I was just, just the type you like oh no let's stay in the house I don't want nobody to see us together outside no baby we was outside real bad but I'm not about to go as far as posting you on social media and stuff like that especially if I'm still unsure about you based upon your actions which is why I say like figuring things out and getting it together behind closed doors not for the world to see is very important because somebody always out there gonna judge you and stuff and then it's like you know if y'all don't end up being together it's like basically it never happened <laughs> And there's only been one man I ever posted like all over my social media. And like I said, I was with that man for five years. And that was my son's dad. <laughs> That's the only man I ever posted over social media and was like, yes, my man, my man, my man, my man. Other than that, baby, you won't see no other man nowhere in history on my social media outside of that man right there. And it's for this very reason. Like, mm mm. Because you're not about to have me out here looking like boo boo the fool. And then somebody be like, oh no, that's my man. Like, what? Sis. For real? Because I do believe too, like, everything that's done in the dark will always come to the light. So, like, why you want people to know we together? so bad like why but yeah that's how I feel about that like not to say that social media even solidifies a relationship like I could care less honestly about being posted on social media to be honest because I've never been the type to be like oh um you need to post me on your social media because I feel like if a man want to post you on social media he's going to do it by himself like you know unless he's just not that that type but if you proud of your woman uh, somebody woke up but if you proud of your woman and confident in your relationship to the point you know ain't nobody can't nobody gonna be like oh well I just seen your girl with such and such 
you know, all that type of stuff without it being forced. Like you having to post that other person by force because they feel some type of way and they're like, I guess you can say insecure, you know, then hey, it is what it is, but I'm not going to post nobody on social media. Y'all might, y'all might get to see like a little fiance or some, but y'all definitely gonna know when I'm married because baby, my man, my man, my man all day. But y'all probably won't even know I'm married until like a cool minute until after I get married because I want to enjoy my man and my family. So. That's just like with me being pregnant. I didn't pop out on social media and was like, oh, I'm pregnant until I was going on six months pregnant. I'm real heavy on privacy. And like the less people you got in your business, you know, because once you post something on social media, everybody and their mom going to see it. They're going to be resharing it, screenshotting all that. So I'm real big on privacy. But... I honestly was even debating on whether I was even going to announce to social media that I was pregnant. Only people that knew I was pregnant was, well, mommy. Why, mommy right here. I'm going to come get you in a minute. But the only people that knew I was pregnant was like a few family members and like, you know, the people that was around me. But, other than that, privacy. Okay, so, I don't know where I left off, but, um, I've been deep conditioning my hair for forever and a million years, because... Somebody was sleepy and she wanted to be held all day. So this is hours later, but this is what oh sting. This is what my hair looks like. It's not focusing, but whatever. So let me take my glasses off. I don't know what the back look like, but I just put one big dookie braid in the back because wasn't nobody about to um be trying to do little sections sections or whatever so let's see let me open up another question this is the same question whoever this is they asked the same question it said your worst habit i already did that one so um they said the longest time you've ever gone without showering that's so funny. That's a good question. Well, the longest time, y'all know, well, the ones of you who know me, I'm not a big fan of showers. I am a pro bath girl. I like to bathe. I like to sit in the tub and soak really, really long. And then after, I take a shower to get off all the residual dirt. Okay? So... If you're talking from that aspect, um, really, uh, I want to say when I was pregnant, I was really, really depressed for like three days and I didn't take a bath or a shower for like three days. Like I didn't want to eat. I don't want to drink nothing. I was just really, really depressed because something major had just happened and it just had me like mentally gone. So y'all probably can be like, oh, that's TMI. I would never, I could never. No, it's real. It does happen to people and mine was due to depression. So that's that three days. And I, like I said, I don't really eat or drink anything. I don't even really recall eating or drinking anything at all for them three days 
That's crazy. But that's as far as like being at home goes. Like, but like a month before I had my daughter, I can't even lie and tell you how long I was in the hospital. But during that time in the hospital, um, I couldn't eat or drink anything or let a, let alone like get up to use the bathroom and stuff like that because of my seizures. So I mean if you count that too, I think I was in there maybe like, I don't know, three, four days. And if you're counting the time after I had my daughter, I was in a hospital for like a week. And you know, I had an emergency C section. <laughs> Look at this girl. Hold on. Let me show y'all what she done did. Look at her. She always doing something. Like, always doing something. Mommy gonna help you. Where was you trying to go? You were trying to come to me? But yeah, like I was saying, I was in there for a week. So if you count that, then I would say a week. <clears throat> okay, so the last and final question. Let's see. Oh, this is a lengthy question. It says, how does it feel to have two kids and how does it feel... To have a very pretty cousin like me. <laughs> Who said this? Um, how does it feel to have two kids? Sometimes it can be very overwhelming. But overall it is a blessing. Because, I mean, for one, I got my boy and my girl. Um, but... Kids definitely gonna either make you or break you, or both. But you know, it all depends on really your mindset and your motivation. Like my kids really motivate me and push me to <laughs> push me to go harder. But I don't know. It's definitely a blessing. Like my kids have been placed in my life not when I necessarily wanted them but when I didn't even know I needed them you know so I'm very grateful for both of my kids and you know even though sometimes it's hard you know especially with being a single mom doing everything by myself like as far as like physically and stuff like that and you know with like I said, all my health issues I have going on, still trying to figure out, it can be hard. But, you know, that's, like I said, why I trust God, I lean on God, I go to Him for everything. And He takes care of it all. He takes care of it all. So, you know, as long as I place my faith, expectations, and everything in Him, I know I'm going to be straight. I know I'm gonna be straight even though sometimes I get a little impatient even so though sometimes like I get a little weary like I'm gonna always bounce back cuz that is where my joy comes from so yeah that's how I feel about that but you guys if I I don't even think I already said it but don't forget to like comment subscribe Ring that notification bell so you can stay up to date on my latest and greatest videos. You know, from the one and only Melanie Hostess that be doing the mostes. And baby, if you can't talk to me nice, then I'm about to even talk to me twice. <laughs> Period. But, um, still continue to send me questions and stuff. You know, I might just do random little, um, short videos on Instagram answering questions or just answering them in general. So, I'm going to have the link to my NGL down below in the comment section and yeah um I don't even know what else to say but that's the video that's it say that's it say that's it 
Oh, also comment down below if you guys would like me to do a get to know me video. You know that infamous get to know me tag on YouTube. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. See you. Say see you in the next video. Look. Say see you in the next video. Say bye.